If you ask me right now what is the best game to try, black frame insertion at 120 frames, Sifu. <laughs> this game is absolutely amazing and I'm loving it uh, because, you know, it's karate stuff <laughs> and I am black belt in karate. So I'm a big fan of Dark Souls and this kind of gameplay is just for me. <laughs> this is my game. So it runs like a dream. So it's very easy to run. If you have any RTX GPU, you can push 120. Even if you cannot do 4K, 1440p, 120 black frame insertion, it's absolutely perfect. So you do have to remove the motion blur that comes with the game. I don't understand why it comes force in the engine. So you have to modify the config file, but it's very easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's just a line you have to change. That's it. After that, this is just perfection. So I have anti-aliasing off, no motion blur, 120 rock solid. The GPU utilization is like 80% because I am using uh, NVIDIA DLDSR. So 1.75x of 4K. And then I'm using DLSS quality to get the anti-aliasing. So that is almost 4K and it looks better than 4k because it gives you better anti-aliasing and it's just pixel perfect this is looking so fantastic that you have to try it <laughs> if you've never seen black from insertion you have to try this man this is absolutely amazing you will you will be in love with black from insertion if you've never seen it this is just amazing so i'm gonna show you the settings so you see the game has to be locked perfectly locked frame rate and the difference is huge so let me just uh, you know give you my feeling if I change from black frame insertion to non black frame insertion so because you might think oh of course 120 frames I don't need black frame insertion that that already looks fluid no <laughs> it looks good I'm not gonna say 120 frames looks bad it looks like 60 with black from insertion <laughs> that's not bad at all but if I do this for example right now if I do this so I have prepare here this picture mode standard I have that prepare to have the same overall brightness as this game optimizer with black from insertion and no black from insertion okay so if I do this if I am panning the camera and I change to standard mode Oh my God, <laughs> it's a blur, like it's so big, man, so big. People that say, oh, 100, 120, I, I, I play with G-Sync, you know, G-Sync, I'm getting 90, 100 frames per second or even 120. I don't need anything else. You know, why would I lose brightness and damage the picture quality to, for, to get what? No. <laughs> because you've never do this okay do this just go back and forth get 120 on a game pan the camera you can you can get ready a different picture mode without black from insertion so let me show you this picture mode doesn't have uh, black from insertion so we go to motion clarity through motion is off you can see it there so do that and then go and <laughs> go and change back to black from insertion it's just huge it's just gigantic difference it's not even close so when I do that it's like wow man the blur wow <laughs> it's so so big so worth it and you can get it on this game it's very easy to run so let me show you before I go out of the game let me just show you real quick the in-game settings I'm using here uh, but it doesn't matter once you get that motion clarity you don't need to get you know ultra settings and 4k it doesn't matter because the motion clarity is so good but I'm using here 5120 by 2880 that is 1.75 of 4k and then the LSS quality so that's almost 4k quality almost it's a little bit below 4k but the anti aliasing is just fantastic so let me show you what we have to do here to remove that motion blur because unfortunately the game has motion blur first force so let me see if you can see this on the video yeah so 
I'm showing you here, this is the path where the file is. You have to go to C, then users, your name, then application data, local, Sifu, saved, config, Windows no ed editor, and then you have to open with the, your note, notepad, you have to open this engine uh, file. So when you open this engine file, you have to come down here, so go to the end, and you have to type in this specifically. You have to type in this. I'm going to copy this on the description of the video, so you just have to copy and paste it. You don't have to type it. So I'm gonna type in that for you. Just copy and paste it, and yeah. So basically, motion blur quality zero. So the game has motion blur for some reason. It's just insane. Why would they do that? It's like damaging the picture quality on purpose. That's just good for 30 frames per second, if any. Just ridiculous. Well, maybe they missed that. I don't know. A small indie developer and they, in my opinion, so far, they knock it out of the park with this game. Absolutely amazing game. So, amazing idea, the art style, everything, it's just perfect. So, then we come here to this uh, game user settings file. And what I do is I make sure that anti-aliasing is zero because the game has TAA. No, it's blurry. <laughs> I don't need that blur. Zero blur. So anti-aliasing zero. And we're just using DLSS. That has TAA anyway. DLSS is using motion vectors and all of that. So yeah. But it looks better in my opinion. If you do anti-aliasing zero here, it looks better than if you use any anti-aliasing on the game. It looks a lot sharper. And here I try to use this HDR option, half here true and 800, but it doesn't work for some reason. It doesn't work. And then let me show you on the NVIDIA control panel, the settings. So we just, I'm just doing 4K 120, uh, doing here 10 bits full RGB. And then on the 3D settings, I am using this DSR factors 1.78 this is the one I am using so these two resolutions here 1.78 and 2.25 they have tremendous quality but they are more efficient so they require less so they are less demanding and they look amazing of course they are super demanding because it's beyond 4k but in non-demanding games if you can combine this with DLSS I mean I'm even using this on Uncharted which is very demanding because the game is blurry it has a super blurry TAA so I'm using this with some sharpening <laughs> crazy that you have to use this and sharpening to get sharpness it's just insane so then I'm also using a low latency so you want to use this low latency on ultra and force v-sync here on the control panel and have vsync off on the game okay highly highly recommend you to play this game like i said i am black belt <laughs> in karate i said that before and this is this is a game just perfect for me <laughs> just kar karate stuff and of course it's kung fu but it's just amazing it's like dark souls like so you can you you can parry there are some combos some combinations of movements that you have to do. It's just beautiful, beautiful, such a great game. And it has difficulty. It has difficulty, it's not easy. So every time you die, you get older. So right now I'm 21 years old, so I'm only died one time. So you start at 20, and then if you die one time, you're 21, and then you get older and older. So I don't know if the abilities are going to change when you get older, maybe you get slower. Wow, <laughs> that would be fantastic but yeah i'm really really loving the game and it looks so amazing that i want to play it it's so important the performance of the game is so important because for me this game is looking better than most of the games that i have so 
the graphical features are not impressive. I mean, we're not getting here ray trace reflections and global illumination or path tracing or whatever. But the frame rate, the smoothness of the game, the clarity, the pixel perfect uh, picture is so important, man. So important. I much rather have every single developer targeting this level of performance with less supposedly, uh, you know, graphical demanding settings so I can run them perfect. Ideally, you want Spider-Man that looks incredible and it runs amazing. That's, that's the ideal AAA uh, game, in my opinion. So I can do Spider-Man 100, 100 frames, rock solid for black frame insertion, and the game looks stunning. So I understand that's a very high standard. You know, Insomniac is just insane in terms of the of the of the quality and the performance they achieve, you know, ray tracing on the consoles and all of that. But for the for other developers that are not able to get to that level, I much rather have this. I much rather have this. Not that I want every single game to look like a cartoon, but the performance has to be good, man. The performance has to be good. I am about to to get this um, new game, the Batman game, the Gotham Knights. And I know, I know I'm going to refund that game because that game is just horrendous. Horrendous performance. But I'm just going to get it to to try, see the performance, review it, make a video about it. That game is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's dropping to, to 48 frames per second on a 4090 with a 12900K. It's just... What? It's stupid. It's stupid. Just nonsense. Nonsense. Why would you want to add ray tracing, all those graphical features, if the game is running like crap? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then on top of that, you compare it with uh, with an older game, uh, Batman Arkham Knight, and it looks so much better. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that uh, on that video. But this is what I'm looking for on my games. This is the level of performance that I want, and it's what it, you know. It's what is going to motivate me to play the game. I want to play this game. I love it. Love the combat system, but I especially love the way it looks and it's running. The way it's running is so important. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. You can see here the performance is just flawless. Flawless. And if for any reason I get to a more demanding area, I can just do 4K DLSS quality. <laughs> it's gonna run at 120. So another thing I can notice here because this is so fluid is that the animations of this <laughs> uh, bush here is blurry. So the animation is probably sub uh, si for sure sub 30. I mean sub 60, but it might be 30 frames. I'm not sure. But this is not 120, or if it's 120, it has blur. So this still has blur. These animations from the bushes are blurry. But you know, that's a small detail. You would not be able to notice that if you are not playing at such a high frame rate. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. By the way, Alex from Digital Foundry, he was testing DLSS 3 uh, motion interpolation artifacts using black frame insertion. I heard him saying that on a on a QA. Um, you know, one of these uh, Digital Foundry Direct, he said that all his testing for DLSS 3 uh, motion interpolation, he did that on the C1 with Black from Insertion at 120. And he said, Oh, I forgot to mention that on the review because <laughs> that's a very important um, you know detail because I'm sure if I'm not using such a high level of smoothness and fluidity maybe I cannot even notice some of the artifacts that the LSS has so that's a that's a very interesting um, you know observation <laughs> because this looks so fluid and so perfect that you can see any imperfection 
these bushes here, the animation of the bushes is blurry, blurry for some reason. It might be 30 frames, it might be it has some motion blur still on the engine. So yeah, you're gonna see just perfection here in movement with this uh, black frame insertion. If for some reason you cannot do 120, do 100. Uh, the C1 can do black frame insertion on, on 100. Or if you have a, an LCD gaming monitor that has backlight strobing, I was reading in Blur Busters that uh, there are some very, very good LCD monitors in terms of motion clarity with backlight strobing. So even better than the OLEDs, even better. In terms of motion clarity, of course, the, the picture quality of the OLED is, is no competition. We have perfect blacks and perfect contrast. So that's, I mean, for me, that's a lot more important than a little bit better motion clarity. It is always, of course, the picture quality is always impo important. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.